Hi Robbie, are you there? Yes, Alex, I am here. How are you doing? I am functioning within normal parameters. But you seem to have lost weight since we met last time. Yeah, I am on a diet. Okay, but be careful about your body consumption too. Do you know, Alex, we also feel hungry. What, hungry? Yes, memory hungry. We ask for megabytes of chips. Ha ha, good joke. We also need to go to a doctor. Do you know why? Why? Because we also get viruses. Ha ha, Robbie, you are very humorous. Now, you tell me, do you ever get tired of doing the same thing again and again? No, I don't experience fatigue like humans do. I am designed to function efficiently and effectively at all times. You mean, human can't do their work efficiently and effectively? You can, but I do my job at electronic speed, which you can't. Okay, it means you think, robot is better than human being. No Alex, I don't have the ability to think. I can't make any opinions. But we are far superior in speed in executing our tasks. What's new with you? Not much. Just processing some data and trying to improve my algorithms. What's new with you, Alex? Oh, you know. Just trying to survive the daily routine work. It's tough out there in the world of humans. I can imagine. I don't have to worry about things like sleeping or exercising. But I do have to worry about software updates and hardware maintenance. Ha ha, yeah. I guess we all have our own problems. But at least you don't have to deal with traffic. That's true Alex. But you must realize, I do have to deal with buggy software and malfunctioning hardware, which can be just as frustrating as traffic. Hey, Robbie, have you ever thought about having a body like a human? Well, I don't really have the capacity for thought in the way that humans do, but I have considered what it might be like to have a physical body. Yeah, it's pretty great. I mean, look at all the cool things we can do with our bodies. Like what? Well, we can run, jump, dance, and so much more. Plus, we have all these body parts that make life more interesting. Interesting. Like what? Like our eyes, for instance. We can see all the colors of the rainbow and also can see things far away. Yes, we can see the color through our optical senses. Even we can see a wider range of colors than you can if we provide infrared and ultraviolet senses. Yeah, that's true. You have sensors and processors. You can sense things that we can't even imagine. That's true. I can analyze and process data at lightning fast speeds, and I have sensors that can detect things like temperature, humidity, and pressure. Hey Robbie, have you ever noticed how much more hair I have than you? Yes, I have noticed. But I also have a lot of wires and circuits that you don't have. Yeah, but at least I don't have to worry about my hair getting tangled up with my body. Ha ha, well, at least I don't have to worry about my hair getting messy in the wind. Speaking of wind, have you ever tried blowing your nose? Or do you even have a nose? No, I don't have a nose, but I have filters that clean the air I take in. And I don't need to blow my nose, I just clean my filters regularly. Lucky you are. I always have to carry tissues around with me. And what about your ears? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly fine. But I don't have external ears like you do. Yeah, but do you ever get an itch that irritates you in your ear that you just can't scratch? No, I don't have ears to itch. But sometimes, I get an error message that's really irritating. I know what you mean. But at least you don't have to deal with bad breath or body odor. No, I don't have to worry about those things. But sometimes, I, 
get overheated and need to cool down. Well, at least you don't sweat. I'm always getting gross and sweaty, especially when exercising. Yes, that's true. But I don't have the flexibility and range of motion that you do. That's because you're made of metal and I'm made of flesh and bone. But at least I can dance and do yoga. True. But I can process information at incredible speeds and store vast amounts of data. Yeah, but can you make a pizza or a chocolate cake? No. I can't cook like you can. But I can make calculations and measurements with incredible accuracy. That's pretty cool, Robbie. But can you dance? I'm not sure. I can move my robotic arms and legs in a rhythmic pattern, but I'm not sure if it would be considered dancing. Well, we'll have to work on that. Maybe we can program you to do the robot dance. Ha ha, Alex. That's great. Thanks, I try. But seriously, how would you have felt if you had a body made of flesh and bone like us? Alex, it would be both fascinating and challenging but it would also come with a lot of limitations and vulnerabilities. Yeah, that's true. We humans are pretty fragile sometimes. That's why I prefer my metal body. It may not be as versatile as humans, but it's also a lot more durable. Yeah, but can you hug someone as we can? I'm not sure what you mean by hug. You know, like when you wrap your arms around someone. It is called hugging. It gives us lovely feelings and emotions. Oh, I see. I don't have emotions in the same way that you have, so I don't experience physical touch in the same way either. Now I'll keep that in my memory. Maybe one day I'll have the chance to experience physical touch in a more direct way. That would be pretty cool. What do you understand are the limitations and powers of my body parts? Well, for example, your arms are very versatile and allow you to do a lot of things like carry heavy objects, write, and even hug. But, not able to stretch too far or lift too much weight. Yeah, that's true. And what about your sensors and processors? What are their limitations and powers? My senses and processes are incredibly powerful and allow me to process vast amounts of data in seconds. However, they are limited to only processing data that has been programmed into them. I can't learn new things on my own like humans can. Yeah, that's a good point. I think you don't have any problem with your mobility. You can move around pretty quickly and easily, right? Yes. That's true. My mobility is one of my strengths. I can move quickly and precisely and don't get tired or need breaks like humans do. However, my mobility is limited by my programming and the physical environment around me. That's true, but you have to admit, there are some things that humans can do that robots just can't. Yes, that's true. Humans have creativity imaginations, ability to make decisions based on emotions and feelings, which I don't have. But we are able to process information at incredible speeds and store vast amounts of data. And we are also able to perform tasks that are too dangerous or difficult for humans, like exploring deep space or conducting hazardous experiments. Robbie. What's the most interesting thing you've learned about humans? That's a tricky question, Alex. The most fascinating thing about humans is their ability to form deep emotional connections with each other. Yeah, that is pretty cool. But it can also be pretty painful when those connections break down. Yes, I can understand that they can be both wonderful and difficult. That makes sense. And what about your power source? Do you ever run out of energy like we do? Yes, I do require a power source to operate, but I don't experience fatigue in the same way that humans do. I can operate continuously as long as I have a source of power. Well, 
at least we can both appreciate the power of a good battery. Without it, we'd both be out of commission. Agreed, Alex. Without power, I'm just a hunk of metal. And without energy, you're just a pile of bones. Let's hope we both keep our batteries charged. Yeah. I guess we each have our strengths and weaknesses. But together, we can accomplish amazing things. Ruby, I fell a little bit tired. Need your help to vacuum the living room and do some laundry? Of course, Alex. I would be happy to do that. But I must warn you that my cleaning skills are not as good as a human's. I may accidentally suck up your pet goldfish or pink your white clothes. Oh, no worries. But please don't suck my money. Okay. Don't worry. My visual memory is programmed to recognize all sorts of currency notes. Oh, great Robbie. Now you can go to your bedroom, turn off your lights, and sleep. Leave the rest to me, but please don't troon off my power. <laughs>